to go to Durban. Designated driver. Yes. That's cool. And this is our first stop, you guys. We are, I think we're halfway there. So we're just going to chill for a little bit and yeah and here's my brother the designated driver yes Finally in Durban, we finally made it to Cabanas Apartments in Mjordi and it is so hot in Durban, it is so humid in Durban, it's crazy. So Dimpo was like, nah, we have to swim. So literally swimming is the only thing that made us feel normal because it's humid, it's hot, we felt so sticky. So we figured shower first and then swim. My mom took a shower. I came to dip my feet in the water. I think I might swim. The water feels so good. I thought I'd get cold. But yeah, the kids are swimming. Bahuni's having so much fun. She doesn't want to get out. Kuma's sitting right here next to me. I don't think he's ready to swim as yet. Because he's not sweating. He wasn't sweating as much as we were. So yeah, we're going to chill. We're going to swim some more. And then we will see you guys on the flip side i'll probably do like a room tour tomorrow because our place is a triple story apartment and it's so beautiful <laughs> No, Saturday morning, yes. So we finally made it to Durban. We made it safe. We made it sound. We are happy. We are good. So um, today's lineup. So um, right now, my mom and my little sister went out. My mom woke up. My six. So I woke up at like around six. Um, my mom took a beach. I um, mean, took a walk by the beach. Um, I was just hanging out, trying to upload my one vlog. Yeah, GSTV delicious, so I can have space on my phone. So that's forcing me to actually edit stuff and get it out there. So yeah, I am gonna take a shower now. So last night we arrived, I think around 7. It's like the whole family and I'm so happy guys. Like the more the merrier. I cannot wait for us to do all these activities that we have to do today. It's self-catering so we're going to go out, get some stuff, make breakfast um, and then we're going to start the day. I think we're going to go to Ushaka Marine World uh, or we might just go to the beach for a little bit and then go to Ushaka Marine World. Guys, I cannot wait. I'm so happy. 
my little one is still sleeping. I want to give you guys a little room tour, guys, so you guys can see what the place looks like. It's a three story apartment, beautiful. So, over here, we have my bedroom. So, I was sleeping in here with my daughter, my son, and Dimbo joined us. So, obviously, uh, we slept really three. It's a king size bed, so it's big enough for all of us, guys. The view, oh my word, I am just so happy, guys. Like, words cannot describe how happy and grateful I am for this moment, hey. Yo, guys, uh, this is us. And I'm so glad when my brother hopped on board. So we couldn't take a flight because, yo, so we were trying to save money. This is where my mom and my little sister were sleeping. They took a walk now to the beach. And then this is the bathroom. This is the shower, basically. It's where people shower. And you can bath in here as well if you want to take a bath and, you know, and a shower. You know, this is us. And then downstairs... This is what it looks like downstairs. I was editing, now I'm uploading. This is it, yo. I need to take my bag upstairs, guys. Not to carry that thing up, yo. This is my queen, my mom. Cool, mama. He was eating just now. I dashed up quickly to go. Not looking to go. Oh, you like Michael Jackson, my boy? I dashed up quickly to go check on Bahumi because I thought she was awake. Hi, Kumo. How do you feel about being in Durban? Eddie how are you doing everybody you still don't eat. oh you don't want to eat anymore that's fine my boy so yeah this is what it looks like and this lady got like super superstar something something on her thing so i just made food for kum i'm just gonna tidy up a little bit get ready and then ratama let me show you what it looks like downstairs further down so this is the bathroom downstairs oh i love this mirror you can take a shower so multiple people can take showers at a time and i love that so much come on it's that thing to make sure the kids don't go down the stairs and then we have um just the chill area come if you're brying here on the balcony well not balcony but outside you can just hang out open the sliding door take a swim with everybody and yeah we used them last night so we just want them to dry i think they did dry overnight so yes let's go so that is basically what it looks like you guys i'm so happy my brother hopped on board shame and he um hired an h1 for us to have transportation because and yeah when i told him about it he was like yeah sure which car do you want i was like oh i'm so grateful to have a brother who supports me so much hey and my grand they did the most well when i had my grand one thing about her if you want to plan something and then somewhere along the line you're like Ish, she's like say less <laughs> you know so with the transportation fee she helped out quite a lot and i'm so grateful to my grand for that my brother also paid like a huge portion for the transport because i think it was 5.8 to book it it's 1.6 a month i mean every day so it's for the weekend my brother hired that, that van he took out the three thousand rand for booking and then the remaining amount was like five thousand four hundred and then my grand took out like a huge portion of that and so did my brother it's like they did half seas on that one and then yeah and i got this place they got that other place my brother got his place guys i can't wait for the activities let's do this <laughs>
are heading to Sha Ushaka Marine World now with my boy opening linen who's trying to fight the phone from me trying to grab the phone from me anyway see you guys there back from Ushaka Marine World. We arrived like some time ago. It is around, I think it's, it's around seven right now. And I've just opened the water. I wanna take a, I'm, tr I'm trying to take a bath right now. Um, we came back and it was so windy. So the plan was that after Ushaka Marine World at around five o'clock, we were gonna come back and go to the beach or like swim around the complex or swim in the complex swimming pool. Uh, but the weather is saying no guys they are such strong winds so we really can't do shit from like right now now but my grand one really wanted a picture uh, by the ocean so did i for the kids you know also to, for them to experience it up close but i couldn't because we had to stay stay back and cook so my, my mom um my gran and my other gran left with um the kids but not kumo and bahumi because it was really cold outside so then paul also wanted a picture she wanted to experience the beach a little bit but the winds were so strong the waves were so crazy 
I was like, nope, it's fine. My kids will probably go in the morning before we leave tomorrow. So we came back. Cindy and I stayed back. Um, I made chakalaka. I made gravy for the kids. She made bap and she made um uh, a salad. And my brother is so busy with the with the brine. So I've done my part in the kitchen. Can't wait to have that food. So I'm just gonna go take a bath right now. I'll probably take a bath with my humi. It'll depend on how, how, how hyped she is because she's still playing with the kids downstairs. So I'm gonna do that and relax. I was supposed to take out my DSTV vlog by now, but while we left, while it was uploading on YouTube, it said there was an interruption and my laptop offloaded the actual video of the laptop. So boring so yeah i'm gonna try upload that again i'm gonna take a bath and then hopefully we will start eating because i am so famished see y'all on the next segment of this vlog One million years later and we're finally about to eat. My brother's done with the braai. So my mom is dishing up now. Look, I wanna chakalaka egi pechiling. And the gravy I made. And the food Auntie Cindy cooked for us. <laughs> <laughs>